Hey, this is Daniel from Matter Pro. We're here in the store here on a pro day featuring Bron Color, and I've got Senpai Zelda and Senpai Augusto here. We are shooting martial arts, and we're using the Bron Color system to show you how a very short flash duration will allow you to freeze the, the action of, of the martial artist. When they're jumping in the air, or they're, they're making attacks and blocks. So I have a pretty simple setup here. I've got a black background, which is just a simple uh, Matthews overhead, just a black overhead to block all the light coming through the window. You want your space to be as dark as possible with these kind of things so that the flash is the only thing affecting your photo. So on this side over here, I have one head inside a P65 reflector, so that's just gonna be a hard, punchy light from the back. I have the same on this side. So essentially I'm rim lighting my, my subjects and I'll get light wrapping around a little bit that'll bounce off the environment to give us some frontal light. So over here, I'm using a, uh, a Bron Color Scoro pack. Uh, this is a 1600 watt second pack. And basically the key here is this gives you a lot of control and also a lot of power. Right now I'm only at 12.5 watt seconds per pack and I'm shooting at something like F8 at 400 ISO. So I, this pack is plenty powerful enough. What's important here though is my flash duration. So I'm gonna dial down in my menu. Here we go. This T.01, that's my flash duration. So right now I'm set at 1 8,000th of a second. So even though my camera is set at 250th of a second for my shutter speed, as long as none of the ambient light affects it, what the effective exposure is, is 1 8,000th of a second. So that's gonna really freeze the action. So even though this pack has a lot of functions, it can just be really simple too. If you just wanna operate on the most basic level, you can come out of your menu, you've got your uh, flash duration here and my powers here. This is my overall pack. This is each of my heads. I want even light from both sides, so I'm just keeping them the same. If I wanna dial up, I can dial up in tenths of, tenths of a, a, an f-stop. So there we go. So if I, let's say I was shooting at F8 and I was a little bit dark, I could just dial up a little bit like that. But I'm fine. That, by the way, the beep is when the pack's ready. And you can see this pack's tremendously fast. I can shoot, 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 no problem. I'm plugged into Capture One with an Icon D4S. So I can actually control my camera completely from Capture One if I want, you know, with all my settings here. But the way I'm really gonna do it is in my hand for this type of photography. So, Right now, I've got 400th of a second, which is gonna to be too fast, actually, 250th of a second at F8. Of course, it's showing me that I'm, I'm underexposed because that's the, the ambient meter on the camera. And my ISO is 400. So I've already metered everything, and I know that's gonna give me a good exposure, and I'll be able to get some nice shots. So the way that, that we do these kind of things, if you're doing sports or dance or these kind of things where it's a controlled situation, as I watch the whole scene, I pick out the part of it that I really think tells the story, and then we're just gonna have them repeat that part over and over until we get the shot we want. I'm not gonna shoot the whole series because not all of that will make a good still photo. So I, I found the part of the scene that's gonna make a great still and we're just gonna shoot it four or five times to get the exact perfect shot. So let's shoot some. So the key to this kind of thing is not to just sit there and randomly shoot while your performers are working. You want to look at the scene, figure out what that moment is, because as a still photographer, that's what you're doing. You're telling a story with one frame. So you want to pick that frame and repeat it over and over again until you get exactly the story you want to tell. So I want to thank Broad Color for coming in and loaning us the score packs for these. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time.